Hey, what is up guys? This is Caleb. Welcome to The Ride of Photo. Today I'm doing a comparison between two microphones. One is inexpensive, the other is just plain dirt cheap. Okay guys, let's start out by taking a look at these microphones. The first one is the Audio-Technica AT87 5R, which is a shotgun microphone that comes at around $170 on Amazon or B&H. Um, I have links down below in the description so you can check them out after this video. But this microphone runs off of phantom power, not batteries. To sum up what that means is you have to have a recorder or something that has the ability to run phantom power to the microphone. This microphone also comes with a windshield, several mic mounts, and a nice carrying case. The other microphone I'll be comparing this to is the Nearer shotgun microphone. Uh, Nearer is actually a pretty big company that sells a ton of generic uh, photography and videography equipment, um, and they're pretty well known for being extremely cheap. This microphone, on the other hand, as you can tell by lifting off the tiny top grill, um, it is actually just a normal condenser microphone, which means it won't be able to cancel out sounds from the sides as well as a, a real shotgun microphone is supposed to. Another big difference between this microphone and the Audio-Technica microphone is that this one takes batteries. So you can just straight up take this out of the box and plug it right into any recorder and you should be able to record fine. This is extremely convenient to those who uh, just have inexpensive gear, just a cheap recorder or maybe just a computer. Um, and so it's pretty handy just to have it use battery power to just plug it right in and start recording. And as far as accessories go, this one also comes with a windshield and several mic mounts. And if you want to call the really flimsy plastic box that comes with it a carrying box, um, you can, but I would never carry it around in that thing. It's so cheap. But now let's actually get into some actual sound comparison. Um, I have both of these microphones running in uh, my, record my two recorders right now. Um, they're both the same distances and pretty much both at the same levels. So let's start that out. Um, I'll be showing two versions of each microphone, one unedited and one edited version. So you can just pretty much tell for yourself uh, the differences in the audio quality between these two microphones. So let's start out with the newer microphone, the cheapest one, unedited. This is the unedited newer microphone, newer shotgun microphone, even though it's not a shotgun microphone. Um, so you, as you can tell, guys, um, it is really noisy um, and pretty flat, too. I mean, it doesn't have very much bass. It doesn't have very much treble. It's just a really flat, low-quality uh, sound. Um, but as you can tell in just a few moments, um, it actually cleans up quite ni nicely after a little bit of editing. So here we go. Here's the newer microphone edited version of the audio. Um, I added some bass, I made it a little bit clearer, I took away most of the noise, you can, it's hard to get all, rid of all of it, but all you guys can probably agree with my friend Ezra, who said that the audio, um, can actually be cleaned up pretty well, and pretty easily too, um, compared to the raw audio you're getting straight from the microphone. So now let's take a listen to the unedited audio from the Audio-Technica mic. Okay. Here is the Audio-Technica unedited microphone audio. Um, it sounds much richer than the newer microphone right off the bat. It has much less noise. Um, and it's amazing, the sound, compared to the newer microphone. So that's what you get for $150 more, pretty much, in sound difference. So you'll get a very clear, crisp um highs and really nice lows um also you're getting an actual real shotgun microphone <laughs> where the not newer microphone isn't even really a real shotgun microphone um oh and before i forget let's do a side sound canceling um test between these two microphones 
Um, this is the Audio Technica right now from the side. So, as you can tell, it's a lot louder coming from right here. Um, now let's do the Nero microphone. Here's the Nero microphone audio. That was a lot louder, my snap. So, there's a little bit of cancellation in the Nero microphone, um, but it is definitely not as much as the Audio Technica because definitely Audio Technica is a real shotgun microphone, so um, it definitely cancels out the sounds a lot better from the sides. Okay, now let's do the um, Audio Technica edited audio uh, test. Um, so here we go. Here is the audio, the edited audio um, playing, and um, so there's just a little bit of noise that I took completely away and um, boosted a tiny little bit the the highs and the mids. I mean, the highs and the lows. Um, just to make it overall a really nice sound. Um, so this kind of sounds like a um, voiceover microphone, um, especially when it's this close. It's about a foot away from my mouth, both of these microphones. Um, so when they're that close, it's, they sound really good. <laughs> so that's all for the audio test. Um, and just to sum it all up, the, the Audio Technica microphone is absolutely amazing for the price. It sounds up to par with the um, mo or the more professional microphones like the um, Rode NTG1 and other microphones like that. So for $170, that's really hard to beat. If you have the money, definitely go for this microphone. Probably the best in that price range. For the newer microphone, also best in that price range. For two for ten dollars, <laughs> it's that's really hard to beat. Um, it sounds okay. I've been using it for ever. Um, as my microphone, um, so I can I can tell you for, as for certain this microphone can work for you if you're doing um, videos like this where the microphone is close to you, the subject's mouth or what the sound is coming from. And so for beginners, the newer microphone is actually not really hard to beat if you uh, can't spend more than uh, like 30 bucks because for ten dollars this sounds pretty much better than um, anything in the under $100 price range. So yeah, again, all to sum it all up, if you have the money, definitely get the Audio Technica. I know I'm pointing out of frame, but that's where the microphones are. I could see them right in front of me. The Audio Technica, if you have the money, definitely go for that microphone. If you don't have the money, definitely go for the newer microphone. It's, it's absolutely wonderful for its price. So yeah. That's all I have for this comparison. I hope you all enjoyed this video and the sound test. I hope it all helped you out and answered all of your questions. If you do by chance have any other questions, you just drop them below in the comments and I'll definitely try to answer them. Also, while you're down there, <laughs> please mash that thumbs up button if you like this video. Um, also, check out my other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.